Well, the patients who are at risk are predominantly female. About 99% of patients who have breast cancer are female, 1% are male. And the patients usually, once they are female, they have a lifetime risk. And that varies from country to country. In the United States, about 1 in 8 patients who are at risk, lifetime risk. In Britain, it's about 1 in 10. In the Caribbean is about 1 in 14. So therefore, patients should always be aware that they are to risk whether or not they have a family history. They should begin their screening examination at age 40, and that's recommended for those patients who have a first degree relative, whether mother, father, or sister, or aunt, who have breast cancer, they have uh, an increased risk for developing breast cancer. And therefore, their screening should begin about 10 years earlier, and that's about age 30. Breast self-examination should be done monthly, and usually um, by the female, preferably after a shower or usually um, in the bed where they can lie down and examine their breast using the opposite hand and they should do that about one week after the menses have commenced because during the menses and prior to the menses the um, breasts sometimes are a bit lumpy and feel abnormal. Signs of breast cancer vary from patient to patient, um, but in the majority of cases, it's a palpable lump, which is non-tender. There are some patients will notice that this lump grows rapidly and also may involve dimpling of the skin or reddening of the area over the, the lump. This may also be associated with swellings in the armpit or axilla which could be nodal metastases. They may present also with a discharge from the nipple, which may be bloody or discolored. So any patient who notice these signs, they should seek medical attention as soon as possible. NHL.